So for the recording, we are reading from Vilapa Kusumanjali, verse 36 today. Oh, Hema Gori, golden girl, when will you know that defeats the beauty of a sesame flower? Take a great round nose pearl attached to a golden string from my hand. The great bee Madhumatana Krishna will be very agitated by the honey that appears thus. So I repeat perhaps the verse. Oh, Hemagori, golden girl, when will your nose that defeats the beauty of a sesam flower take a great round nose pearl attached to a golden string from my hand? The great bee, Madhumatana, Krishna, will be very agitated by the honey that appears thus. So, my Yoga Shakti, maybe also you can introduce to us why you chose this verse. Um, actually, I didn't choose. It was like closing my eyes, uh, trying to connect with Radha and Krishna, and just trrr, like this. Opened the book and then it stopped there. And when I was reading, I was like, my God, it's like continuing from Sunday, last Sunday, um, when we are, were talking about the bee, um, attracting the bee who is uh, summing or uh, flying around Radharani, around her neck and shoulders, but actually she wants to land on her lips to taste her nectarian, uh, full of bath lips. And when I uh, read the purport also, it's so sweet because, yeah, this nose pearl has a, um, the special function to attract the bee. And when I looked at the picture from the book, and we can see Radharani on all pictures, she has this pearl just hanging in this little, you know, just over her uh, lip. So, yeah. So I felt, wow, it's so beautiful <laughs> to attract Krishna to come there and to land on her beautiful, soft lips and to drink the honey. <laughs> yeah. I, I continue? Yeah. So notes, when the transcendental vision disappears and the lack of devotional service is felt, it becomes hard to tolerate the resultant misery. Sometimes the premika devotee even faints but when the beloved deity responds, the swoon may subside. When there is no vision, there is again lamentation and prayers for devotional service. In this way, it gradually continues. From this verse, we can understand that Tulasi has fainted. But now, 
Swamini personally calls her back. Now Swami personally calls her back to consciousness in a transcendental vision. Tulasi, won't you put on my nose ring? Um, Ayoga Shakti, could you just uh, repeat uh, the last lines? Yes, yes. When there is no vision, there is again lamentation and prayers for devotional service. In this way, it gradually continues. From this verse, we can understand that Tulasi has fainted. But now, Swamini personally calls her back to consciousness in a transcendental vision. Tulasi, won't you put on my nose ring? Sri Raghunatha is awakened by Swamini's merciful call. He is sitting there, waiting for devotional service and thinking. I see, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. How can I survive if I cannot serve her even a little? How can I survive if I cannot serve her even a little? Tulasi's wine-like body is burning in the forest fire of separation. And nothing but the shower of Swamini's mercy can save his life or her life. <laughs> How merciful Swamini is to call Tulasi for service, for service like that. External consciousness is an obstacle for a conditioned soul like me. My mind is going in the other direction. I have no relationship with my Swarupa at all. How intense are my worldly relationships? I cannot forget them, even if I try. All the things that drive me, that drive me mad, are temporary. All these things will go. With whom shall I stay? Again, others decide to keep one share for their bodies. And those things related to the body and another share for the Lord. But by tugging at the heart like this, trying to divide it into different parts. Srimati's mercy cannot be attained.
the whole heart must be given to Radharani. All other engrossments are simply stumbling blocks. This is the teaching of the Acharyas. Perhaps you want to share something, Zunit? Yes, that's a very interesting. Oh, Baba is making this clear. How is the condition of Tulasi or Raghunathas when he is fainted or she because she cannot live without Swamini? And then also Raghunath cannot live in his in his even external consciousness without his Swarup, he doesn't, he also faints. And Swamini is so merciful, calling, calling Tulsi back. So like this, it is appearing vision and disappearing vision. And that is such a intense feeling. That Raghunath is on the one side, he's so happy, he says, I'm getting it, getting it. But then how can I survive if I cannot serve? And that's the burning fire of separation. And then Swamini is calling. We are all waiting for this call. We are hoping and praying. And praying to cry for this call. But my condition is external. And Baba explains. That's very painful that I have not realized who I am. I try to give a little bit to Swamini and Gurudev and Vaishnavas, and I try to be happy with that also. Because happiness is, is a natural desire. But Baba says, I have to watch myself. I should not be happy with that little happiness of doing a little thing. Always not to try to divide the heart, not to be happy with just giving a little. Always having this longing for more and for not becoming Lazy or complacent, complacent, selbstgefällig. Because Baba is quite clear. He says that by tugging at the heart, like a little bit tugging, means, you know, a little bit of the heart here and a little bit of the heart there, trying to divide it into different parts. Vamini's mercy cannot be attained. The whole heart must be given to Radharani. Oh, uh, Suniti. Yes. We in German we have a, a word to uh, explain this. This is you cannot be a little bit pregnant, right? You are or you're not. You notice? Know So that is uh, full described what you just explained. You you are or you're not. And um, what I also like to add in this 
it's okay for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, what you just read my yoga shakti. This was when we place this pearl on Swamini's face. We come as close as Krishna to these lips, as Manjaris. But we not come to enjoy. We come to make these lips as beautiful as possible. They are the most beautiful that they will meet with Krishna. This is our great desire, but to imagine how close we come as a manjari to these lips, it's really, it's the same, it's not, not far, more far than Krishna. But our, in, our intention is, is complete different. We serve our Swamini because she desires to come close to Krishna. So beautiful, no? what the Swam, what the Mandaris are so expert and so close to Swam. <laughs> See that. Radhe, Radhe. It is uh, just follow up. It's very, it's very beautiful. Uh, and beautiful poetry, the way that uh, Suniti is putting it, is too. But I wonder what it means for us to do. I'm sitting in my chair at home, and I don't see any lips. And I and uh, I can close my eyes and imagine the Radharani and but what does it mean I should do in my life? Radhe, Radhe. Very good question, Uddhava, as always. Radhe, Radhe to you. <laughs> I don't know, everyone has some feelings for that and I, I would love to hear from all the devotees what they feel about it. I can only share for what my feelings are. First of all, Baba is giving uh, the scene in his notes. And then I feel, oh my God, it's intense. It's intense. It's an intense situation. It looks like ordinary decoration, but there's this pearl. And I want to, you know, I want to surf Swamini with this pearl. I ever be in that service for Swami also? And then when the pearl, I imagine the pearl on the nose of Swamini. And I think what is so attracting about that pearl is because when Swamini is breathing, the pearl is vibrating. And this vibration is attracting the Krishna bee. For me, it means I want to also aspire, I want to beg and pray for the help of all of you that one day my meditation is also like that. And I can also feel some intense feelings. And of course, I can also burn, you know, I can also think in my daily life, how can I feel the breath of Swamini in my life? How can I serve Swamini in my life with my breath, with my little tiny fingers? And how can I remember the color of my skin? And my form and my name. 
that's only little things that come to me and maybe you want to share, others want to share what it means for them. Goranga. He's already <laughs> in ecstasy. <laughs> Gopinath and all of you, please help here. We have situation. Go, 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 Dave. Please be merciful. You are, uh, we cannot listen to you. I was saying your husband is very tricky because he always um, gets to the quintessence. And um, so when, when I was listening to him about um, the closeness, the intimacy, the Manjuris have to have in order to be Dasi. Dasi means only to be close and intimate. There is no other way. If we don't practice closeness and intimacy, then uh, cannot be part of Swamini's loving affairs and all her activities, right? It's not possible. So how to translate it into day-to-day -day practice? No, I, I like this very much because Udavaya always helps me to also reflect on that. One is the thing what we are hearing from the words and the commentaries of the Acharyas and the saints and Gurudev's blessings is giving us so much deep insight. How to translate it into day-to-day -day practice when I'm sitting in my room or in my chair is that um, the key is here relationship, I feel. We have to live in, in close relationships. And the best way to practice is, of course, with our Gurudev, with our God brothers and God sisters. If we don't live in close relationship, then how, how, how we will, you know, it, it, is, it is an integral part of us to live close and, and intimate. And um, so that Gurudev always says, we have to increase our feelings. And feelings can only increase if I'm close to someone, right? So in my day-to-day -day practice, but also in my spiritual deeper practice, I have to practice this closeness. And it goes it goes as close as lips to lips. As <laughs> Gora Sundar was uh, quint essentially saying, like, there is not even like uh, we say in German a blood that's <laughs> so it's an intensive practice absolutely without intensity it, it cannot happen it has to be intense right intense. Quint, quint intense. Quint intense one example is giving in uh, I think in, in Bhagavatam when uh, there was some uh, disciples who learned to fix the arrow and Arjuna was one of them and then the teacher asked what did you see and one say oh I, I see a tree okay next one then next one see I see an eagle okay very good next one and then Arjuna came and they ask him, what do you see? I see an eye. What do you see more? I see black, the black in the eye of the eagle. Wow. And so that means one pointed. If we like to come close to our Swamini, we have to make this point. And if we, <clears throat> for example, <clears throat> Listen this description of the lips of Swamini. We not see Vrindavan. We not see 
the house or the place she is sitting, we only see the lips and this pearl. We see the shining of this pearl. It's like a mirror and the lips are shining on the pearl. We see the color of these lips. And we see how close we are if we put this pearl on her nose. And we feel what the Manjari is feeling. She is decorating Swamini for Krishna. And this is how we fix on one point. And this we can learn from Arjuna also. How to be really our mind, our thoughts, our vision, everything is on one point. And this is the teaching by our Raghunath Das. He's making, he's not in one line, he's describing how he is serving Swamini. No, he makes really uh, uh, details in this Villa Kushmanjali. All, all is uh, described in details so that we can become one pointed and get a vision. It comes, I feel this for me, step by step, if we go in this topic. And so it's, the, it's only the lips and the pearls we can see there. That's I think. I think it goes even further when Arjuna is looking on the tree and this guru is asking, what do you see? Not only he sees the eyes, he also sees his own reflection wow. in the eyes. Yes, yes, yes. It's and amazing. his guru there. <laughs> so when we look at the pearl which we're hanging on Swamini, we have to meditate what we see in that wow. pearl. We see our own reflection also. What we see more. <laughs> Wow. Anyone else would like to share on this? It's a very interesting subject. One thing that I was asking myself, why is uh, Tulasi has fainted? Why Baba can say that from this verse we can understand that Tulasi has fainted? Somehow I don't I don't understand this because I checked the other verse and I checked the commentaries. There was, but then I thought that is Baba's vision probably that he sees Tulsi has fainted, and um, that uh, Raghunath is in such an intensity, and that's why he says. This intensity uh, is necessary to to do that service and to hear also Swamini's voice, because Swamini is calling at that at that moment Tulsi and that's so sweet how how Baba is giving us also this hope when he is telling that there will be this intensity in your life. He's also blessing us that this intensity must come and may come in my life, where in every breath I can feel my Swamini, and in every moment I will not see or feel anything outside from my service as a human or as an aspiring Dasi, and it will become one. For the how come Tulsi faints and Swamini has to revive? What is many of them? Unconscious. Unconscious, yes. So when we are not in trance, in my sorrow, we are faint, right? 
Oo. Identify on the plastic body center. Wow, Gurudev, that is like that. When Raghunath is in his physical body, then Tulasi is painted and Swami calls back. Yeah. Right? We paint that, yeah. Wow. So it must be the other way around too, Gurudev. Yeah. When we are active in our Swarup, we become useless here. Yeah. Yeah. In this material life, but we are we are not friends. But it also means that <clears throat> we need the call of Swamini. That call of Swamini. She awakened us. That is the month. We think we will do by our sadhana is not possible. Then she not called. We are like a friend. <laughs> we do our thing. In the friend and drunk position. There must be many in this situation, right? <laughs> I am there. I see myself like that. Then some will call me. That my friend, this friend, that unconscious creature will be conscious. Without a call, it's not possible. <laughs> Um, before I continue, I just something little came to me. Um, when you ask Suniti why we can, um, why Baba is writing that Tulasi has fainted, um, because normally Tulasi or all the Mandaris, they know before Swamini tells something, they know everything she needs. So they act and do everything without that Swamini has to tell them what to do. So perhaps also there she was. Faint, she fainted, so Swamini had personally to call her back and to say, Hey, Tulsi, uh, won't you put on my nose ring? Because normally sh she knows what to do before Swamini even mentioned. So, yeah. 
<laughs> so I continue. We should live in Vraja to follow the example of these Acharyas. Guys, these Acharyas are the example. They themselves so. When you are not in your sarupa with you are offended, you are drunk. You are drunk with the material consciousness. Drunk, like a drunk person, offended person. You are drunk to enjoy the senses and material things. It's a drunk. Drunk can do by knowing when they drank they forget everything. <laughs> they are fainted. Without drunk people, how they can faint? Drunk with the illusion, they faint. I cover myself with the illusion of material identification, ego. So I I painted from reality. Right? Like we, out, we call it also Gurdiv. And we want to stay in that consciousness because that is the reality that I feel. <laughs> Without call of Swami, they will never wake up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Mahajan, they are not fainted, but they give themselves example. That we have to understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sripada Prabhudananda Saraswati has written in Radha Rasa Sudhanidi verse 60. When will I wash the dirt of my wretched body by bathing again and again in the water of the Yamuna, which is muddled by the mask that is washed of Sri Radhika's nipples. Nipples, sorry. <laughs> the awareness of being Radhika's Dasi cannot awaken in the heart of someone who is intoxicated by material bodily consciousness. Sri Raghunatha Dasa has fainted of love and separation. Swamini calls out, Tulasi, how nectar sweet is her voice when she calls her kinkari by name. At least a slight desire should awaken in the heart of the Raga Sadaka like this. O oh, Swamini, when will you also call me by name like that? I'm sitting here with this endless expectation. Blessed is Srila Raghunatha Dasa Goswami, 
for he has forgotten everything and has fallen on the bank of Radakunda and is crying in a heart-rending way for the personal service and darshana of Sri Radha. He, what, what, what was the last verse? He forgotten everything? Um, blessed is Srila Raghunatha Dasa Goswami, for he has forgotten everything and has fallen on the bank of Radhakunda and is crying in a heart-rending way for the personal service and darshana for Sri Radha. So good if that means he is uh, falling unconscious. He forget what forget create unconsciousness. <laughs> it's, it's completely different. We, we have to think upside down, right? He forget the thing what makes unconsciousness <laughs> or, or, or forget what makes him. Vintage. Yeah. <laughs> that he forget. <laughs> he forget that thing. What makes what is it? Unconscious. Unconscious. You don't want to go in that stage that he has become unconscious with the reality. <laughs> <laughs> but our conditioned soul not want to forget. They want to jump out again to be a ping pong. But this is this verse. What is daytime for the sleeping soul? Or what is this verse? Gopinath, maybe you know better. There is a description about this. Uh, in the, in Yogi, the when they wake up. Bhagavad Gita. Later. Bhagavad Gita, no? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yogi, when they wake up, Bhogi, Bhogi means. They are wake up. <laughs> they are sleep. sleeping. They yeah, sleep. yeah. <laughs> and then Yogi wake. <laughs> Yogi <laughs> wakes up to sleep. Enjoy the sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is the desire, Gurudev, to wake up from the sleep. And the situation of Raghunath Das Goswami is completely different. He yeah. is already with Swamini and she's calling him, wake up. I need your services. He wants to forget everything. What makes him to sleep? To sleep. Praying for this good day. You pray for me that I wake up. <laughs> we pray for each other, Gurudev. But that's also Udava's question says, what does it have to do with me? And Baba says, a sadhaka should also desire to be called for service like that. Always Narayana said, telling, you need to be. Mm -hmm. Desire is not to work. 
greedy. We have to be greedy, rati. Rati is most strong, but greedy is telling softly. Rati is very heavy. Intense greed is Rati. But he says he had to become greedy. Beg, borrow, or steal. But I never forget. Steal is a is a, is a intense greedy. Begging greedy can beg. Borrow greedy, but stealing is an intense greedy can do that. And stealing Gurudev is also not asking for the reaction. Yeah. You're not looking for punishment or anything mm -hmm. else. If they you steal, you are punished. Yeah. But they want to steal. <laughs> It's an intense greed. What a great margin there. A sadaka should also desire to be called for service like that, wow. weeping and crying. Wow. Aho, in which birth can I also obtain a drop from this ocean? of spiritual emotions. As much as even the faintest moon rays of Raga that arise in the moon-like heart of Srila Raghunatha Dasa Goswami become Again, read it. Yes. Aho, in which birth can I also obtain a drop from this ocean of spiritual emotions? As much as even the faintest moon rays of Raga that arise in the moon like heart of Srila Raghunatha Dasa Goswami become reflected. One minute, repeat again. Try to understand it. As much as even the faintest moon rays of Raga that arise in the moon like heart of Srila Raghunatha Dasa Goswami become reflected in the crystal-like hearts of the Raga Bhakti practitioners. Yeah. Oh. Hmm? Well, Ranga Sunda, can you explain that? Radhe, Radhe, Radhe. No. Yeah, this is the essence of Raga Bhakti. And this is the answer on all our questions, how to attain the goal. As much, I will read again, as much as even the finest moon rays of Raga. What is this moon ray of Raga? Is pure devotional service which is performed in own style above. Wow. And this this moon rays <laughs> 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 
This moon race helps devotees to relish divine rasa. Wow. And these moon rays are coming from the heart of pure devotees. And this is Raga, Vartma, Chandrika. The path which is illuminated, very narrow, tiny part, path. And this path is only for each person of us, only for one person. And he can go on this hidden path by following reflection which is coming from illuminated heart of his spiritual master or previous acharyas. Otherwise, he will go astray. This tiny part is hidden part. It's completely outside of the hallway, like we say, of religion, of Vaidhi Bhakti. It's a hidden. And no one can walk on that path without this moon ray from the heart of Acharya or Guru, Guru Dev. Yeah. By following behind, not in front, not astray, but the following the footsteps of his spiritual divine emotions and bath. Then devotee be situated in his Thai bath and be able to relish divine rasa and he will receive divine inspirations from the heart. And this is the Raga, Anuga, devotional sadhana practice. And this moon rays is actually going on in the heart of devotee and help him to be absorbed like a laser. He is putting his heart and connecting his heart with the heart of Acharya. Yeah. Feeling his feelings, not his own feelings. I don't want my feelings. I very well know my feelings. Thank you very much. It's enough. But I want to connect, uh, not connect, to connect my heart that feelings from my Guru Dev or previous Acharya reflect in my heart. And this is the only sudden. And personally, I don't believe in any other, my own practice. I'm praying for you and Guru Dev that I can follow this narrow, Path in the dark. It's in dark. It's not hallway. It's a hidden. And if I properly follow with my emotions, then all interruptions will be removed on that path. So this moon rays is cooling, refreshing, gives inspiration, and gives enthusiasm. Otherwise, it's not possible to develop spiritual and to attain anything. Radhe, Radhe, I said something, sorry. Why sorry? It's beautiful. Thank you so much. You cannot always hide from us and keep everything for yourself. <laughs> I have to say something. Hello, my dear. 
My, my sweet uh, Goranga, you touch my heart very deep. Uh, all you of you, I, I, must, I must share what I have uh, for experience. You hear my voice? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yes. Uh, it, it's only a, a little point. I'm very beginner in this. My heart uh, is so, so happy. Uh, you know, all I'm in the hospital and the radiation, and I make every radiation. I make so wonderful experience with Radharani's mercy that I can diving deep in the darkness in the Radha Kund. All this is dark and very deep, and I come out with a dive with a with the pearls every time. I have I can put it on Radharani's, and I'm I'm so blessed. I must share this. It is so wonderful for me. Thank you, Gurde, for this mercy. It is, it's, it's, I don't know, I'm very surprising. I'm happy. I have three days more here and then I can collect these diamonds. It's, or every day it is another color. It's golden or blue or red. Also, Gurde, it's so mercy for me. I'm, I have so wonderful time in Vrindavan, have two months and This is the mercy I go and, and I follow Gurudev and all, also of my heart and Radharani. And I have learned to pray to Radharani directly, personally, that before I have made Japa on this and this, but, but it is the biggest gift I have. I don't know what happened. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Gurudev. <laughs> all will be fine. Good. Yes. <laughs> It's, I'm so happy for this surprising. Thank, Thank you. you, Rade, Rade. Wonderful. Prajeshwari, you give us also your pearls. And you share with us the jewels of your heart. Thank you so much. And you also dive deep in the dark. Radha Kund. Uh, wow. Amazing. I have for the for the first radiation. I was so fear. I was full mad in my head. Oh my God! What happened? Mm -hmm. And then uh, surprising, it's this is this uh, this uh, machine start, and I boom, bloop, I blooped in Radha Kund. <laughs> I was surprising, <laughs> and now it's uh, it's uh, it's the uh, I have not so much feeling every day in the last weeks. Uh, I go here and um, I have to say it, it is, uh, uh, I can also share this, it is, it's so nice. <laughs> no, not nice, nice is not the real word, it is, it's amazing, it's amazing for me, I cannot say this, yes. Thank you, Suniti and all here. But Garanga, you have, uh, you have bring it out for me when you say this in the last, uh, Words you you make you we all in this wonderful sharing. Thank you. And all your radiation can make us real healthier. Just expose our hearts to proper radiation, and everything will be nice. This is the moonlight, which is coming from Hladini Shakti, from Radhika's heart, Radhika's form, through her maidservants. This is the best radiation. And you are blessed very much. Radhi Radhi. Thank you. You read again, Ma Yoga Shakti, that line, please. I, I try. I'm so touched from all of you, Rajeshwari. I, I love you so much. I'm sending you so much love and strength. And wow, I can learn so much from you. Really, thank you for sharing. So I try <laughs> to read. Um, and I have a little bit thunder just when Rajeshwari was talking, the thunder was like, Bam! and I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as much as even the faintest moon rays of Raga 
that arise in the moonlike heart of Srila Raghunatha Dasa Goswami become reflected in the crystal-like hearts of the Raga Bhakti practitioners. That much their spotless hearts will be colored by the divine emotions. Spotless. Yes, their spotless hearts will be colored by his divine emotions. For the sake of those who desire to serve Sri Sri Radha Madhava in the eternal supernatural playgroves of Raja, in a Bhava Deha, body made of transcendental love. Sri Dasa Goswami mercifully kept this treasure of incomparable emotions in the form of his guidebook for spiritual remembrance, Smarana Padati, that is full of ever expanding feelings of ecstatic love in this world. Swamini calls Tulasi. Tulasi, come. Won't you put on my nose pearl? Mm -hmm. Tulasi sings. I've put on all decorations. Now the nose pearl on the golden string is left. Let me see if Swamini will take it herself or not. And openly she says, your nose pearl is hooked to a golden string. Will you take it from my hand? This pearl is very dear to you and I have to put it on you. Yeah. If there is no gold on your, on your nose, your breathing may be inauspicious for priya, priya, Priyatama. That's why you want to wear the nose pearl. Again, again. Yeah. Your nose pearl is hooked to a golden string. Will you take it from my hand? This pearl is very dear to you and I have to put it on you. If there is no gold on your nose, your breathing may be inauspicious for Priyatama. That's why you want to wear the nose pearl. Very deep for the I cannot see. No. No. To meditate. Yeah. 
decoration of Radhika. Manjaris are doing only to be with Krishna. It's auspicious if you breathe, you will always auspicious breathing with this golden Because this golden cannot live without Krishna. It will attract him very close to her. Close to black. To black to be. So you have to wear it. And this we will attract it by the golden. So our un 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 uh, this underage of Radhika, all the decorations in English, you say, ornaments is nothing else than this. You see, this she is carrying manjaris. This will be auspicious. Because no spur is closest to the lips, no we mm -hmm. will understand, and you we can all find the target. All we can find the target. We can find the target. And you will always be breathing, and this all breathing will go every bit in error and excel. I remember, I think in the other Asasudani, this very nice description actually about breathing of Radhika. And when she is, when she is so absorbed in her intense feelings, this white pearl under her nose becomes reddish. Wow. And when she is again in another mood, when she is absorbed directly in the form of Mohan, this pearl becomes bluish or dark. So when, this, so when this pearl is connected with the golden string, this golden string is Radhika's Mahabal. This is Radharani, which nourish the colors of Krishna's heart to change according to her desires, to her feelings. So, like you said, but we should meditate more deeper and deeper because it's closely connected with the Kama Gayatri and so on. Yeah. Yeah. God, I'm, not. I'm so proud of my heart cries for this ordered service blessed is this kinkery who knows like nobody else how to serve the deity according to his heart's desire. Is that desire? From the heart desire or the 
और केंद्रीय हाथ देता Blessed is this kinkiri who knows, like nobody else, how to serve the deity according to, and then it's written his heart desire. His heart desire. I want to know clear this. I'm not sure. Suniti. <laughs> it says Swamini's desire. So much devotion, not William. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Understand what is the difference? Why I become allergic with William? <laughs> When I listen William, follow William, I become very allergic. My heart desire. You I have to that. follow my teaching. This is vegan concept. What is vegan concept? Really? My own follow desire. my desire. My today, I and then I I accept you. If you not do this, bye bye. <laughs> Yeah, that is the whole uh, secret, actually, in devotion, Gurudev. That we learn how to give up my way. But like Goranga Sundar said, I have to go into that moonlight. Of the rays of the hearts of our teachers, of our chayas, of our Gurudev, Param Gurudev, and so on, so that the desires can reflect in my heart. If my heart is full of desires, then nothing can reflect there, but only my own desires, huh? and the result will be zero. But if there is not the one in front, it will not be very valuable for the service. Material desire. I am only material condition, and ego condition desire is it. for my mind. My marketing and publicity, not your happiness. My concept. Um, That's why he says, uh, "This pearl is very dear to you, and I have to put it on you because this pearl for Swamini is more hard, also." Also dear to you because this is ornament, and all ornaments is dear to you because it's the kids now. All ornaments are your more hard. You don't see the first and more. फीलिंग ऑफ स्वामी इज कमिंग इन वाइट डिफरेंट Yes, good even. I was also thinking her breathing is her love, is her excitement, is her rati. So yeah. according to that also Mohan's heart will be colored. He will get also all of her feelings and that's why it is also so attractive for the bee to come to the you know That nose ring and come close to the lips. And why Mahadev is starting to chant to change our breathing mm. to with the song? Ah, we are connection with the song is breathing. Ah, 
Anuragini, who knows about the prema, devotion, we have to change our breathing on it. Because we are breathing with the material thinking and we have to breathe with the mantra. Yes. What with the time, every bit has to be useful. For Swamini, Mohan is closer than her own breath. Ah. And for the Manjari, Swamini is closer than their own breath. Yeah. And when they put the nose pearl, then they also exchange breath, no? That's the meaning. Manjari is Krishna Bhakta Hone Baro Chatur. What is my chatur? Very smart. What is the smartness to understand the deep meaning? You can say chatur means a smart and very clever. Clever is not a good word out, but clever means to understand the deep meaning of the of the behavior. They understand. And is a Krishna Bhakta, not Radha Bhakta, Hare Bhaiya. There is no difference between Krishna and his energy. Rad Krishna means Radha. I was very long time, I was thinking, why Krishna? When Krishna, I am not, I am a Radha devotee, why I talk about Krishna? But how can separate to the both of them? But Krishna and his energy, how you can separate? They always took us. Who see outside, they say Krishna. Who see inside, they see the energy. Only this is the difference. But how separate most of them? Manjari is service to make always together. That's the point. Krishna and his energy, they want to see always. And some. Maybe in the beginning to fix in Radharani as five how you have to leave some time Krishna that you know make naughtiness with us. <laughs> but after that reality will come. He is very naughty. We do not want to make the clear crystal picture in our life. We are very crazy. That I, we don't understand the reality. And we cannot go deep in the light, play with the toys. Right? Any time he will create the toys to play. And he will check you. Are you interested in playing toys or not? But mercy, Kulukrapa, mercy of Radha Rani has been our life. They protect us. We cannot do any effort to protect ourselves. Yes. Anauji Jamananda Maharaj, 
time we will not talk. You will see, you will read and Jananda Maharaj has to say. Every time, half an hour, he has to say something. Please read now. Why not he's coming in the front, but yeah. When he will not talk, he will not come. Maharaj, yeah, half an hour will be always your. You have to say it, no way. No. <laughs> I'm just, uh, just listening and... Uh, and you're talking, I'm missing you very much. Mm -hmm. I learned so many things from you. No, 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 no. I want to hear from you, actually. My... Yeah, you are read, read, read. And Maharaj will explain. Okay, I continue. Tripada Shukamuni has called Mother Yashoda Krishna Hitaisini. She who works for Krishna's well-being. When his name, qualities and pastimes are being heard, chanted, and remembered, Krishna bestows the greatest welfare on the world. But Mother Yashoda is always worried about his welfare. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Krishna is all pervading Vibhu and on the strength of his great love even the greatest sinner can be liberated from the material world and attain ecstatic love of God simply by chanting his holy name. This Krishna became known in the world as Damodara because his mother Yashoda bound him with the ropes with ropes. For Krishna's welfare, Sri Radhika goes to his village, Nadishvara, every morning to cook for him. Being blessed by Durvasha Muni, that whatever she would cook would be like nectar increasing the lifespan and health of anyone who would eat it and cur curing him from diseases. Every day, Swamini worships the sun god and prays to him for the good health of her prananata. That is the nature of the love of Vraja. And that's why Swamini asks Tulasi for this nose pearl on a golden string. When Tulasi puts on the nose pearl, she shimmers Swamini in an ocean of sweet Krishna topics. She immerses, no? Immerses, sorry. Yeah, I, I read again, sorry. <laughs> when Tulasi puts on the nose pearl, she immerses Swamini in an ocean of sweet Krishna topics. Mm -hmm. wow. Wow. 
The nose defeats even the seasoned flower in beauty and will make the Krishna be very greedy. Even a hero like him cannot resist it. Jananda, you want to share? Yeah. Uh, many things to share. This is very so. Um, actually, Gurudev was saying in his book, everybody want to something from Krishna. But here in Braja, they want to, uh, but uh, that Raga devotee want to give anything to him. This, this mentioned Yashoda, Yashoda Maya, Krishna Hitasi, Hitai Sini. She who works for Krishna's well being. So she, she does not want to take from him. He want to, she want to give him everything. Like breast milk and anything. And so before we are discussing uh, the fi fi uh, faint, faintest moon rays of Raga that arise in Ragnat Das Goswami's moon-like heart. I'm, I feel this is Buraja Baba's feeling. Here mentioned Yashoda Maya, but we are feeling our Swami needs, especially our, our dear Radha Dashis, Laguna Das Goswami's, and Rupa Goswami's feeling. And this moon rays, Goranga Sundaraji is explained very sweetly, nicely. I'm feeling this is kind of, this moon ray is feeling also mercy. By the bhakti, when we are in the stage of by the bhakti, we are thinking, by my endeavor, we can get prema. But the Raga Bhakta, we feel, we cannot attain prema without mercy of our Guru Dev and our Acharyas. Raga Bhakti comes from mercy, from Raga Bhakti or our Swamini. So this is, Braja Baba is, how beautiful Braja Baba, because Yashoda Maya could bind, here mentioned, Yashoda Maya could bind Mohan, but Yashoda Maya has so much endeavor for to bind Krishna. Krishna was seeing Yashoda Maya's, uh, what is it, sweat and too much uh, greediness. So Yashoda Maya is, it takes some time because two fingers missing to bind Krishna. Gurudev was saying this two finger, what do you mean two finger? Mm. 
So if I my if my mistake, please correct me. Gurudeva is saying this is greediness, and one thing is, I forgot maybe. Gurudeva, could you <laughs> help me? Two fingers. One is greed, and one is mercy or pure love. Pure love. Mm -hmm. So Yashoda Maya, it takes some time to bind because he she tried to bind Mohan, but uh, greed is little less. Love is little bit missing, but. Shrimati Radharani's case. So Mohan was make appointment with Swamini in Kartik time. And uh, Swamini was waiting for Mohan. But some other Mohan came very late, or some late. And Swamini become man, very angry. Why you become late? And then Swamini bind Mohan, but immediately, no two fingers. Immediately Krishna was Damana's binded, and then Mohan was saying, "Hey, my Swamini." It's not my fault. My mother is calling my, some duty was there. So therefore I become late. So at that time, Radhika was untied for Mohan. He had mentioned Laga Bhakti, especially Swamini's love. Is so intense. Swami is so greed to meet Mohan. Swami is full of love because she's Maha Baba Chintamani. So here also mentioned Radhika is cooking for Krishna. Krishna's Always Raga Bhakti want to take care of Mohan, especially our Swamini. Externally say, Duruba Sabuni give some blessing to Swamini. But actually, this is external thing. Because Swamini is Karabati. But naturally, she has all good quality. She does not need any blessing from any saint or any demigods. Because Swamini is original Pradini Shakti. Originally give mercy to anyone. Wow. So here mentioned even faintest moon ray of Raga. That arises in Sri Raghunath Das Goswami's moon-like heart. Because Radha Dasi is reflecting this Mahababa, Madanakya Mahababa from Swaminis. And especially Torasi Manjari, Raghunath Das Goswami is Kripa Patra of Srimati. Because so, so near. So crossed with Swamini. They are kind of same soul, same feeling. They are tadatmika. So this mercy come from originally Swamini to Radha Dashi, and from Radha Dashi to another Radha Dashi. And this moon ray come from our Guru Manjari, from our Parampara. So therefore, this Raga Bhakti, I feel, I believe, Acharya, many Acharya saying, 
Raga Bhakti come from someone who has Raga. Someone who has feeling. So therefore, we need to associate Raga Bhakta, Rashika Vaishnava, like our Guru Dev or our Guru De our Paramparas, Guru Barga, Acharyas. And uh, Goranga Sundra explained very nicely why we are reading or hearing this Birapak Sumanjari. Because this Biraka, Birapak Sumanjari is full of raga, full of feeling. And this verse describes nodes, node links, and pearl. Pearl is white, but this white is reflecting Raga of Swamini, of Raga of feeling. So Krishna's, and also this, I feel this pearl is kind of nectar of love. I think represent Mahababa. Sometimes this nose reflect this lips. Lips become red. So that red become, let represent feeling of Radhika, passionate feeling. And then Mohan become more, more uh, greed, greedy. Sometimes this nose ring reflect this musk, blackish color. <clears throat> then Krishna was also feeling <laughs> this. What is this blackish? Oh, I'm someone, someone is with Swamini. And golden color, golden gold represent Swamini's color. And this musk black and united. So, and this breathing, I feel this is kind of anuraga also. Raga and anuraga. So anyway, this bus describes uh, Raga Bhakti. Especially this bus, I was feeling I need mercy of Guru Dev. Even Baba mentioned Baba mentioned for us. I was completely shocked. Baba is saying external consciousness an obstacle for conditioned soul like me. My mind's going in the uh, other directions. I have no relationship with my swarup at all. How intense are my worldly relationships? I cannot forget them even I, if I try. All the things that drive me mad are temporary. All these things will go. With whom shall I stand? Baba describe his humbleness. But this reality is me. So I just praying for the mercy from Guru Dev and other, all other Lashka Vaishnavas. And then one day I may deflect this moon rays of Raga. That lies in Lagunath Das Goswami's moon-like heart. And this, re this reflection, if our heart is pure, then deflect more. Yeah. But our heart is contaminated. 
reflection is not so strong. So like if we meet, we have mirror, sometimes sun, sunshine come, try to deflect, but many dirty things there, but deflection is not clear. So this verse mentioned, Baba explained, our heart should be clean, try to be clean. As much as my heart, our heart become clean, then deflection of Raga become more obvious, obvious. So this is that reason why Gurudev and Suniti Didi open this international uh, satsanga, sadhu sangha. So I, I'm always learning from Gurudev, Suniti, and the Goranga Sundara, and Gorang, uh, Gora Sundara, and uh, uh, Gopinata Bhaiya, and uh, Gora Chandra, all other devotees. So just uh, I want to say a little bit. I learned from Jananda. Then you yes. become crystal clear to me. No, 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 no. <laughs> and actually, Jananda Ji, you started the international Zoom. You were the first, you had agreed to start Zoom with Japan devotees. I remember. So this is your mercy. And others followed and thank you so much. No, 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 no. You arranged you are Gopinath Bhaiya. Started and I, I was just instrument, but your creed, you wanted to have this Zoom classes with Gurudev for the Japanese. Like this, it started. Thank you so much. Very grateful to your service, all this. No, this is Gurudev's blessing, Gurudev's mercy. I see first time Indian body, Indian mind, how this know the technical things. <laughs> These are Japanese, European brain can do this. Indian don't know this Zoom and this uh, internet. Really, we don't know internet two years before. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> Now we know. <laughs> now we know very well. Without the internet, we cannot move it. Very my well. God, two days my internet is not working. I was requesting to go in the please internet now is come. I don't know. Morning I can do it. There was not internet. But the God of Sundar gave very nice class in morning. Wow. wow, very beautiful. Tomorrow also. Yeah. I also want to thank you, Jai Nanda Maharaj. You give such a beautiful words of love, and I feel the same that I need all of you also. Every day I need this in injection, this infusion of your hearts and your feelings. How can I be alive otherwise? I feel not alive if I cannot hear your sweet Honestly, feelings. My desire to this Zoom classes has to be more generated in your area. In your area. Like regional Zoom. Regional area. And it should be more and more. And you are trying to more and more only to discuss. It not goes in one day. It takes long time for realization. When we will sharing, it start sharing, sharing. One day it will reveal to you. One time we cannot understand. So how much you will start sharing? It will be realization will come. Maharani is doing in the Susana, and many of our group is coming. Like this, all has to be grow like Norwegians are doing. Norwegians are doing. Maharani is doing like this. 
So this is where we have to see the positive thing and try to help. Okay, take and do. This flow will change by itself. Thank you. Radhe Radhe Jai Jai Sri Radhe All Vaishnavas Ki Jai Jai Sab Jai Jai Radhe So Hanuman Ji Jai Hanuman Ji Jai Jai Hanuman Ji That Thank you all Ram Charitra Manas Or Hanuman Chalisa also, one Zoom classes has to, you have to organize. Mm -hmm. to, learn, to attend the Ram Charit Manas, you have to lead it. Okay. Very good. I would love to. Yeah. Who like to listen, try to find and join and start with. If you keep English, money will come. If you keep German, then less will come. As per your desire. But it's very important. So, please. One day I'm discussing with Gopinath and I feel it. Why not? Without Life is not full of etiquette, devotion will not come for Krishna Bhakti. Mm. Thank you, Jordan. Yeah. Add, Gurudev, never cut. Add, add, and add. Please <laughs> add more. Anior, anior. But you will see every place is unconditional love is the main. In Almana Charitra, Sita Charitra, and Ram, Ram Chandra, unconditional love hmm. is their meaning. This is, why it's, this is why it's easy for me to listen to Nilapa Kushamandali and all of your realizations yeah. and your love. There, there, for me, there's, there's not a difference. Mm. And this will add to explain Ram Charitra Manas. Mm. It will more beautifully will explain, more explain Hanuman Charitra beautifully with unconditional love of hmm. You start, my dear. This yes, is what Uddhav is also doing. He is also American. You are also American. You have to make your team. Yes? Yes, yes, Gurudev. I will organize. Yeah. Mm. And your one brother also, he is also very interested. I see him, I like him. Yeah. My son, my son Nimai was, was funny. He asked me, what did you do to Joe? And I said, what? What do you mean? And he says, he keeps writing me, Jai Sri Ram. <laughs> Yeah, even his wife last night. Right now it's very tough. He's, sleep, he's sleeping now, but now it's it's really tough time. And his uh -huh. wife, even his wife was saying Jai Shira. Yeah. He was explaining to her the pronunciation. Yeah. yeah it's nice. Yeah. Thank you, Guru Jai 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 Gurudev Jai Radhe Radhe Gurudev Lots of love Thank you for everything Radhe Radhe Danke Gurudev Thank you Danke Danke Radhe Radhe Gurudev Who is that right here? Radhe Radhe Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you.
Come on, now my line is okay. Call me. Okay. I, uh, yeah, I was trying this time, not happening. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's an achievement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, good day. Radhe <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 Y